Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is about 9.51 p.m. California time, December 19th, 2024 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 2.5 earthquake. And the green flag uh, somewhere out here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Buried out here somewhere. I'm um, trying to find it. I don't see. Oh, there we go. Across the uh, Indonesia Islands area, buried underneath some uh, some other earthquake activity, hiding out there. Also, a little earthquake on the Petrolia Station there in Northern California, a little spike of an earthquake. That earthquake not showing up on the Dinsmore Station. That's a nearby uh, seismograph station, so it looks like uh, just a, a very small microquake up there across the area of Northern California. Nothing showing up there from the USGS. They have not... Uh, reported on um, too many of these uh, earthquakes that are below the 2.0 threshold. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Southern California, see what we got going on down here across the area. Uh, a couple earthquakes here this afternoon above the 2.5 range here, mainly across the Imperial Fault. Uh, also one earthquake here off of the plate boundary at the southern end of the San Bernardino mountain range for a 2.5. Um, nothing other than some microquake activity up north here. I'm really not seeing any uh, major swarming around the area for now, but it does look like we're getting a little increasing movement uh, across the area of the plate boundaries. So we'll keep an eye there on Southern California. Uh, up north, uh, a handful of earthquakes there across Northern California. The Bay Area pretty quiet. Nevada is still getting in on the mix as well. Uh, for the uh, Nevada or the uh, Northern California activity, the last earthquake. 2.1, at least according to the USGS there, about uh, about 7.30 or so a local time. Uh, I do want to check out the Trimmer map out here tonight real quick, see what we have for Cascadia Trimmer, where we're sitting at, uh, well, 47 epicenters there across this area of Northern California, underneath this area into the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, so things look like they're starting to pick back up there. That should increase our chances there of seeing some uh, further movement across that area. There's some movement out in the uh, Nevada region there. Quite a few microquakes, which are being reported there in the last 24 hours. Uh, of course, all this activity following that 5.7 earthquake there uh, a week or so ago. Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Uh, as we look across the uh, rest of the states here, one earthquake in the Kelly, Wyoming area. I'll just give a quick visual here of the uh, Yellowstone National Park overview. Really not a whole lot going on here uh, in terms of earthquake activity. It looks like that's going to be that two-pointer showing up on a couple of these small or on these uh, seismograph stations as a small uh, reading there. But aside from that, uh, pretty quiet up there. Texas area still getting some moving out across the oil fields and a little bit over here around the Shreveport area. 3.3 and a 2.5 around Uncertain Texas. Never heard of it, but uh, apparently that is a legit place out there. I'll have to check it out one of these days. One earthquake there on the New Madrid Seismic Zone, but that's uh, pretty um, normal for now. Not seeing any swarming going on. There's a newer quake pretty deep here into the Argentina area, San Martin region. 4.8 at 113 miles deep there. This follows uh, some deeper activity here in the last couple days along the Prudchilly Drench. Um, so, you know, definitely uh, looking at potential for some larger activity upstream. Um, with the increasing movement here, that is a result of the pressure out here. Little divergent zone, fracture zone out here. Valdivia, Divia, it looks like. Valdivia, fracture zone. Most of the time activity stirs up out here. We'll see an elevated risk of uh, increasing pressure out there against the... Uh, the um, subduction zone just kind of makes sense here. That's where the general arrows are pointing. Divergent boundary activity normally puts a strain right here across that area. And that uh, looks like things are starting to kick up there. We'll continue to watch that as we're seeing a pretty good uptick there following that movement, that 5.3 earlier. Uh, Puerto Rico Trench, let's see what we got out here. Pretty quiet. Uh, not seeing too much activity there. 3.9 and a two-pointer. Also some activity further out around that subduction zone here. It looks like a 3.7 near the St. John's area. Nothing showing up there on the USGS side of things. 
Uh, some further clustering out there around the Philippines. Uh, let's see what we got here. Mostly older activity. A lot of threes and fours, including that five pointer there from yesterday. A little bit, a little bit of migration southward here through the Philippines. Uh, nothing going on across the Japan area for now. Continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, the Alaska region, some deeper activity up there into the Aleutian Trench. 4.7 earthquake. Fairly deep earthquake here into the uh, subduction zone. 52, well, USGS reporting this as a 4.5. Uh, fairly deep, though, about 52 miles underneath the area of the Cook Inlet region. Uh, aside from that, uh, check out Hawaii, see if anything's cooking out there. Getting a broad scale uh, event out here across the area of the southeastern portion of the island. That includes the areas around the Hill and the Slump region. Kind of interesting. Got to watch that because that uh, uh, has some potential there of uh, collapsing and sliding off there into the Pacific, creating a little tsunami. If that does take place, uh, a lot of these earthquakes are you know, relatively shallow as well across the region. Some of the deeper areas here underneath Bahala, um, seeing some clustering as well. But uh, definitely got a lot going on out there across the Big Island for now. It's, um, it's going through some changes. Uh, now, whether we see an eruption up there at the summit or maybe something else brewing out here, we'll just have to watch and wait. Uh, the latest update here was put out uh, today, earlier this morning. They're doing daily updates, by the way, here on Kilauea Volcano. Strictly because of the elevated seismic activity and the inflation that's going on there around the uh, Kilauea Summit area. Um, not a whole lot of newer activity to mention here. Uh, looks like no changes there in the downrift in the lower east rift zone for now. Um, let me check out the uh, deformation charts here, see what we got for the latest activity. Yeah. Still going down here at the summit region, it looks like. There was some type of uh, magma um, displacement there recently. think if anything, it's probably um, potentially over around the Lava Lake area. Uh, it's got to be. That's where... It, that's where it seems like it most likely place where the uh, magma has accumulated there. So we'll continue to watch that. Really nothing big going on there for now. Seismograph stations there show some of those earthquakes in the last 12 hours. Uh, really not seeing any major magma movement. A little bit of fluid movement uh, readings right there it looks like. So overall, um, Eruption getting closer, but I don't see any key indicators that it's happening anytime immediately soon. But uh, here in the near future, for sure. Uh, let's see what else we have here for activity. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet out there. The rest of the, the world here, quiet as well. One uh, earthquake out. That's an odd one. 4.6 north of South Africa area. That's... Well, that's not that earthquake. That's going to be this older one here. Uh, Zimbabwe area. Earlier this afternoon. Uh, aside from that, let's check out space weather. See what's going on. Um, I know we got some some interesting uh, flaring activity happening on the eastern limb here of the sun from a, an active area. 3927 and 3928. A uh, fairly dynamic area there in terms of... Uh, some sun, sunspot activity. Hard to tell exactly how complex it is in terms of uh, the magnetic polarity there from the black and white image, but uh, it's been popping a little bit, been sizzling with some sea flare activity. Uh, flare threat still remains somewhat low, 50% chance for M flare, X flare around 5% chance, C flare at 99% chance or so. Uh, no major auroras there, there in the forecast, and the aurora. 30-minute uh, forecast. Obviously, there's not a whole lot going on there for now. Uh, as we look at the uh, weather models out here, expecting another stormy, uh, wet weekend for Northern California here, and that's okay. That's okay by me. I love the rain. Uh, some higher mountain snow up there as well as we bring in the uh, winter solstice there on the 21st. Bigger storm behind that, and uh, another bigger one there as we head into the Christmas Eve time period and uh, Christmas, and I think the day following that as well. Just going to be overall a series of wet systems aimed at, aimed at Northern California. 
uh, Oregon and Washington as well. Southern California really not getting in on too much of the activity. Uh, maybe as we head into early January, uh, but an overall look here at the accumulated precipitation runs there still still shows Southern California there in the dry spell, but that's very common during a La Nina season. It's normally wetter up northern California northward, uh, but we'll see. They may pick up some showers there. We'll have to watch those weather models, but yeah, California, uh, northern California specifically, Oregon, Washington, got a lot of rain and a lot of snow coming there, so I am, you know, I've been asking for it, right? <laughs> And sure enough, it's been provided. So thank you. Um, aside from that, folks, I'm going to call it um, another small spike there on Petrolia. That's not the one that just that's not the one that came in. That was back over here. Notice that's a little bit smaller than this earthquake, as the amplitude readings show. And uh, you know, it just just a series of earthquakes that happened. And there's a there's microquake activity continuing. Probably a, a few earthquakes each hour since that seven pointer that struck here um you know a couple weeks back now on the fifth but uh, overall it's uh you know I'm, I'm just a little disappointed that they haven't included um you know all the microquake activity out here uh, because we'd probably be talking about close to a thousand earthquakes or so uh, recorded in this event as of right now 480 earthquakes according to the usgs here following that seven pointer Still a decent number, but it's lacking all the other smaller quakes there. All right. Um, I think that's about it, folks. Have yourself a good night. Tomorrow is Friday. So that's uh, some good news, right? Made it to the weekend here just about. We'll catch you guys back out here for the uh, Friday morning update here after uh, hopefully a, a decent night of sleep. Take care, and uh, you guys stay safe out there.